Okay. So every week it's a sort of a cycle. We, as soon as that, let's just say the paper just went out on Thursday, it's on the stands. By that point already, we, we will have had our for the next issue. Mm -hmm. So sort of planning what's going to be in all the sections. Uh, by this point, the section editors are collaborating with their contributors and the, their vo own volunteers and other staff members if they write for another section to getting their story ideas all organized and what articles are going to be going on. They like they it's just to just say like the arts editor will have to collect all those stories edit them prepare them send them to me who as the copy editor I edit them prepare them send them to the editor-in-chief so we really have this sort of this editing chain that we do and then once they've been edited by the editor-in-chief they go to the uh, production design manager who's then going to start laying them out and so this process takes right up till Tuesday night and then paper goes to be printed on Wednesdays and then it's delivered to us here on the campus Thursday mornings for us to put in the stands because our we have like a distribution manager who goes around and does that and puts them everywhere so hmm. it's a weekly thing so it never really stops once one paper's out we're working on the next and uh, depending on what where you're working it'll depend that'll dictate like what part of the week is more heavy for you I do a ton of work between Sunday Monday and Tuesday after uh, all the things come in yeah and then I don't have to do anything else Unless I'm doing my own writing, but between Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday, I do a lot of work, mm -hmm. and uh, deadlines obviously affect that as well. If things are late to the section editors, they're late to me, then they're late to the editor in chief, and mm -hmm. it's quite a really like interpersonal, collaborative teamwork process that you just can't. Nothing can function without everyone's everyone's cooperation and collaboration. And it's just a great it's a great opportunity for you know, Memorial students to get to work in that environment. We're not owned by Mon. Uh, we're not. We're here to be a voice by students for students, something that anyone can participate in. It's not exclusive. Anyone who wants to be a volunteer, provided they are willing to learn, obviously, this, this, you know, the style and the, what's appropriate and how to actually you know, be part of this, this you know, cohesive structure. Anyone can volunteer and be a part of it. And this is something that you know, can be critical. It can, it can be critical of, of the students' union, and it can be critical of the administration, and it can be critical of anything, of the things that are going on in the community, because it's a, you know, a campus university student newspaper that is, you know, completely by students, and that kind of autonomy is really, really essential to, like, a very, you know, free medium here on campus, and I think that's something that students really need to take advantage of to actually, you know, get to be a part of something that's not it's not dictated by the students' union or dictated by the administration what the content's going to be. This is a publication that students decide what it's all about. And to get to then look at the fruits of your labor and say, like, this was all done by students is something that's really, really beneficial and just rewarding. Mm -hmm. You know, I guess we're separately incorporated and, you know, the Muse, Inc., and we, you know, are run by students. Oh, definitely. I think that it's been it's been very essential to sort of my own transformation and my own like growth throughout my degree. I'm, I've been a very involved student and I'm involved in a lot of other capacities including working for student affairs so I'm I get it's a really good sort of negotiation because I often take into account other knowledges and other like reservoirs of like you know information to bring to the muse to the to sort of help the muse be more um, more balanced, more, more considerate, or also more um, informed about things that are going on. I, I like that. I think it's important to have people that are really in, uh, aware of other things that are going on so they can really contribute in a way that's really useful to students. And you know, it is hard in any situation to decide what is of value to our readership and what people are going to like and not like. But I've, I'm really rewarded, I think, by knowing that I am having a part in this and that I have that sort of that level of responsibility to you know make sure I do a really good job, the best mm -hmm. job I can do to make sure that things are professional and that things are you know produced of a high quality. And it's just such a, a great experience to to get to be a part of that process. Of course, I'm always going to get people who didn't like a letter to the editor, and they're like, "Zarin, I didn't like that letter to the editor." And I'm like, "You know, I don't have any say over that, nor did I write it." But however, you can write a letter to the editor complaining, mm -hmm. but a lot of that all the time. So I'm often. My friends might hold me responsible for something that was in the muse that I have no affiliation with, but that's just the nature of it, of, of any sort of media thing. There's always that sort of uh, confusion. But I mean, it's just fun to be a part of it. I love getting to work, um, you know, as part of this chain. Mm -hmm.